What's cooking, good looking? Oh, I know what you're thinking. It's Halloween. I must look pretty stupid in such a non-festive towel. Come in. So, any word on your son-in-law? No. No, sorry, the nun. Well, uh, dealing with a double murderer in your family right before election night, your key must be bound up tight. Oh, David, please. I'm not really in the mood for naked Tai Chi. Vicky, if this isn't the time for sexual healing, I don't know when is. Did you find out anything? No one on the day shift recognized Jared from the picture. I don't get it. Jared doesn't smoke. He doesn't collect motel swag. How did he get this if he was never here? Well, there's still a maid and a desk clerk who haven't clocked in yet. Maybe one of them will remember seeing him. I hope so. Because I feel like the longer we're apart, it's just... I feel like I'm... I'm losing him. For good. Sorry, buddy. I... I don't know exactly when your dad is going to be home. Well, can I get a ballpark? <laughs> um, he is going to be home as soon as he can. Well, where is he? You don't know, do you? I don't get it. Dad left and didn't say where he was going. Well, that is the life of a PI, kiddo. If your dad could be here with you, he totally would. And if he could tell us about the case, then he would do that too. But he's missing the Halloween party. Among other things. Um, sweetie, why don't you go to the kitchen and get the bags and start bagging the candy for the trick-or-treaters, okay? But save me some Kit Kats and Twizzle. Hey, Gigi. Come in. Yeah, thanks. Is uh, is Rex around? No, he's not. He he went out of town last oh. night. Is there anything I can help you with? Um, but he left. He left after the concert. Uh, actually, uh, I I, di I didn't go to the concert with Rex. No, not really. Why? Because I need you to do me a favor. Well, not actually for me. For my kid and his squeeze. Keep your towel on. Jared hasn't even been charged with anything yet, you know. Does that mean when he is charged, you'll fall into my strong, capable... What? I'm simply offering my services. I aim to heal. Stop it, David. Look, I need to see Dorian. Is she here? Since when did Dorian become such a chick magnet? Young woman, if you expect to be a success, don't make personal shopper an oxymoron, okay? I specifically said no high heels, no sling bags. Get something like this, but perhaps a little more graceful heel. You, no problem. Are you really going through with this? Hello, Vicky. And hello, David. Of course I am going through with this. I would not dream of leaving my fiancé at the altar. Excuse me. So, Vicky, what brings you to the enemy camp? I would have thought you had your hands full dealing with your various family crises. Well, actually, that's why I'm here. Brody? Yeah, baby, it's me. It's so good to hear your voice. By the time I got into Michigan last night, it was too late to call. How's your sister? I'll fill you in, but first, I need to know how you're doing. Um, uh, well, they, they haven't found Jared yet. I know, I checked in with John. But baby, I was asking about you. What's wrong? And don't tell me nothing, I can hear it in your voice. Um, I, I don't know how to say this. Just say it. <laughs> I got a phone call from Nash last night. That guy's at it again? No. No, this was different. Last night, my dead husband spoke to me. 